Good morning, wrestling fans. Today is Sunday, July 28th, 2024. Lance Brack here. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Hope everyone is having an awesome Sunday, wherever you are in the world right now. Had a busy day and a bit of a late night yesterday. Got home late, so I had to DVR, collision, and battle of the belts. Then watch them when I got home last night. But I did watch both shows, collision and battle of the belts of 11. On this pretty big pro wrestling weekend. Then next Saturday we have WWE SummerSlam coming up. But first let's get into last night's AEW Saturday Collision. And even though it's not the theme song for Collision anymore, I'm still going to say it when I recap the show Saturday night's all right for fighting and last night definitely was last night collision was live from eSports Stadium in Arlington Texas as the path to all in continues our commentators for last night, Tony Schiavone and Nigel McGuinness. And we have freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy starting things off, defeating Johnny TV with Taya Valkyrie in his corner, 10 minutes, 32 seconds. Then after the match, Taya gets in the ring and uh, tries to attack Orange Cassidy. But then the CMLL Women's World Champion Willow Nightingale comes out to make the save for OC. Has been seen recently. Willow Nightingale has become a new friend of Orange Cassidy's since Chris Statlander turned her back on him. And also we have tag team action. The Blackpool Combat Club, Claudio Castagnoli, and the now former Ring of Honor Pure Champion Willer Yuta defeated the machine Brian Cage and who beat Lee Moriarty for that Ring of Honor Pure Championship. Lee Moriarty, the new Ring of Honor Pure Champion and the BCC get the victory. Also top fight, sorry. I forgot that this was a triple threat tag team match. Top fight in there as well. And we have 10 minutes, 38 seconds. Hologram defeated the Beast Mortos. 12 minutes, 19 seconds. Pretty good match here. Thunder Rosa defeated Maya World. 3 minutes 32 seconds the conglomeration the new the ring of honor world champion Mark Briscoe Kyle O'Reilly and Tomo Hiro Ishii defeat the premier athletes Aria Davari Josh Woods and Tony Nese with Smart Mark Sterling in their corner in a 6 man tag 
the murder hawk monster Lance Archer got a quick victory over an unnamed uh, opponent. They didn't even mention his name. The match started with this uh, opponent making his entrance, but he was jumped right off the bat by Lance Archer, rolled down the ramp into the ring. Lance Archer destroyed him, getting the win in his home state of Texas. Another tag team match. Now we have FTR, Dax Harwood, and Cash Wheeler defeating MXM Collection, Mansoor, and Mason Madden, 12 minutes, 19 seconds. They've only had uh, just a couple matches. They were on the zero hour before death, before dishonor, and then collision last night. I'd say early on, obviously, but I'd say it's pretty good so far. This new team, or not a new team, but they're new to AEW. After being released by WWE, I know they've been working the indies as of late. And in the main event of Collision last night, Pac defeats Leo Rush in a very good match. 13 minutes, 13 seconds. Like I said, very good match. I, If you missed it last night, I would definitely recommend going out of your way to check that match out. Good match. And also, last night after Collision was AEW Battle of the Belts 11. Also, same venue, of course, Esports Stadium, Arlington, Texas. And now Tony Schiavone and Nigel McGuinness are joined by Ian Riccaboni on commentary. And we have the AEW Women's World Champion, Timeless. Tony Storm taking on Taya Valkyrie in an Eliminator match. Timeless Tony gets the win. 9 minutes, 10 seconds. As she will defend that Women's World Championship against her former protege, Mariah May, August 25th at All In in London on pay-per-view. Willow Nightingale, the CMLL Women's World Champion, defeated Deanna Perrazzo in another elimination or eliminator match. 11 minutes, 38 seconds. And the main event of Battle of the Belts is for the ROH World Six-Man Tag Team Championships. The natural Dustin Rhodes once again teaming with the Von Erichs, Marshall and Ross with their father Kevin Von Erich in their corner. They defeat the Undisputed Kingdom, Matt David, Mike Bennett and Roderick Strong. And now they should be getting a future six man tag team title shot in the future. So that was the pro wrestling we had on last night, AEW Saturday Collision and Battle of the Belts 11. I thought it was a pretty good night of pro wrestling. Maybe nothing real great, but still pretty good. And next Saturday, 
August 3rd, we have WWE SummerSlam coming up. But before then, August 1st, this Saturday, Rhino's promotion, Insane Wrestling Revolution, returns to the FOP in Monroe, Michigan. Check them out on Instagram, Insane Wrestling Revolution. Dan Housen will be appearing. They're going to be having the Insane Rumble. I'll probably talk more about it as we get closer. That is all for this morning, the Sunday episode of 360 Good Morning Wrestling Fans. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. In the comment section, you can go there right now and leave your thoughts and your opinions on last night's AEW Collision and Battle of the Belts. I also might put up a couple poll questions on X, so follow there if you are not already, at 360 Wrestling Pod on X or Twitter, whichever you call it. And we'll be back tomorrow for the Monday episode of Good Morning Wrestling Fans. We'll probably preview tomorrow's Monday Night Raw. And once again, thank you for listening. But until tomorrow morning, have a great pro wrestling day.